Thank you. Mr. Chair. Uh, Congresswoman uh, Luistro. Can I have a short inquiry with AMLA? Okay. Please proceed. May we know the status of the cases filed already against Cassandra Ong? Uh, good what cases Your Honor. have you filed so far with Cassandra Ong? Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. For Cassandra Ong, we have filed a money laundering complaint uh, last Friday, Your Honor. And in your mandate, AMLA, have you tried to look into the bank deposits of Cassandra Ong? Uh, Your Honor, that is part of the ongoing investigation. But uh, with respect to the money laundering complaint last Friday, uh, we have limited ourselves to the transaction of uh, Ms. Alice Go. I understand, however, Mr. Chair, that in the charter of AMLA, there are crimes, offenses, when you can look into the bank accounts as exception to bank secrecy law without a court order. Is it the opinion of AMLA that this one belongs to the exception? Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. Uh, the predicate offenses relied upon in filing the money laundering complaint is qualified trafficking in person, uh, SRC violation, and estafa, Your Honor. In other words, Mr. Chair, the AMLA confirms that because of human trafficking, SEC regulation violation, and the estafa, there is no need for AMLA to secure a court order for them to look into the information of all the bank deposits of Cassandra Ong. Does uh, the AMLA confirm? Uh, may I be clarified, Your Honor? Yes, uh, please. With the existence of those predicate offenses, uh, we are allowed to go to the Court of Appeals to apply for a bank inquiry. And it is the Court of Appeals uh, with these predicate offenses which should authorize us to uh, look into the bank accounts, Your Honor. Can we be enlightened? How soon do you secure the order from the Court of Appeals for you to be able to get into this information? For the PORA case, Your Honor, the investigation is still ongoing and uh, we are seeing that uh, we would be able to file in the next coming weeks, uh, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, I am referring to the order to be issued by the Court of Appeals. I think that will be directed to the banking institutions to allow the AMLA to look into the bank deposits or transactions of Ms. Cassandra Ong. Gano po ba katagal bago kumuha ng order na ito? Does it take weeks, months? Uh, Please Your enlighten us. Uh, Your Honor, un under the anti money Laundering Act, once uh, an application for bank inquiry is filed or a petition for freeze, the Court of Appeals is given 24 hours to issue an order whether to grant or to deny the petition, Your Honor. And may we confirm whether the AMLA has filed already? Uh, Your Honor, for the, for the PORAC uh, POGO case, we are still gathering information. Investi we're still, the investigation is still being conducted, Your Honor. Uh, under the AMLA, Your Honor, we have to prove uh, certain elements the existence of the predicate offense, the proceeds, the transaction, among others, Your Honor. So uh, that is where the investigation is leading to, Your Honor. And in your humble opinion, uh, Mr. Chair, do you honestly believe that your application will merit the positive action of uh, the Court of Appeals for you to be able to look into this bank information? With the uh, evidence thus gathered, Your Honor, uh, the AMLAC is confident that once filed in court, it will be granted by the Court of Appeals, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, if I may proceed. In addition to the documents which were requested already by the Honorable Keith Flores, let this representation add the following documents which were mentioned. Where is she? By Cassandra Ong. Because earlier she said, Chairman, Suspension, since, uh, Mr. Since Chair. Since wala pa si Cassandra Ong, can I ask the AMLA? Okay. Chairman. Yeah, yung case na final nyo, doon kay Cassandra, Cassandra Ong, ah, malinaw. You have a case filed against Cassandra Ong or Alice Go? 
Uh, it is against uh, Alice Gu together with uh, Cassandra Ong, Your Honor. And it covers Bamban, Tarlac. It's about the Bamban case. How about the Porak, in which Cassandra Ong is involved? Uh, that is the case that is still uh, being investigated by our office. Uh, timeline tayo, please. Next week, two weeks. Uh, at most two weeks, uh, Your Honor, at most. Two weeks from now. Then, the next is Court of Appeals na. Uh, hopefully within the next two weeks, Your Honor, we'll be filing a bank inquiry petition before the Court of Appeals, Your Honor. So, ito ha, for the record, ulit, Bamban pa lang po. Sinama niya na si Cassandra Ong. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, it's a joint investigation by the AMLAC, by the NBI, and PAOK, Your Honor. Sa uh, Porak Pampanga, sinong mga subject dun? For the Porak, um, Your, uh, Your Honor, um, with your kind indulgence, we cannot disclose the, 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 the persons. Okay. Since just this morning, you asked for an executive session to appraise us. So, Mr. Chairman, we'll just schedule an executive session with uh, the AMNAC. Ang request lang po namin, bilisan po natin. Kasi, ano, nakafocus pa kami sa budget. Ang Quadcom, this is now the fourth, fourth hearing. Hopefully, sana, in the fifth or sixth hearing, medyo na-file na natin. Tapos may reply na from the Court of Appeals. We'll do for your honor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank Mr. You. Chair, yes, uh, please. Proceed. I just wish to clarify from AMLA because my understanding is Cassandra Ong is implicated in Porak Pampanga. How come she was included in the case in Bambantarlac? Uh, that is based on the investigation conducted by the NBI and PAOK, your, your honor. Uh, that she's part of this uh, conspiracy in the commission of the crime in uh, Bamban case, Your Honor. In other words, does AMLA confirm na wala pang kasong nakafile pertaining to whirlwind and lucky south? In so far as the man laundering aspect, Your Honor, is concerned, none so far, Your Honor. Third Chair, can we pursue the waiver that was previously committed by Cassandra Ong to execute for herself and in behalf of the corporation. Because there is misrepresentation when she said that cases have been filed against her already, when the truth of the matter is her implication is with respect to Bambantarlak and not with respect to Porak Pampanga. I respectfully move, Mr. Chair, that we pursue the prior commitment of Cassandra Ong to execute a waiver, at least if not for herself, in her representation for Lucky South and Whirlwind Corporation, Mr. Chair. We will uh, ask her directly, uh, Your Honor, as soon as she comes back, and ask for her commitment again whether she is willing to sign that waiver in order for us to be able to examine. Mr. Chair, I just wish to express this frustration that during the last hearing, she seemed to be so sincere in her intention to execute the waiver, only for me to realize today that she just wanted us to withdraw the contempt order and the detention order in the women's correctional. So I find it actually as an act of contempt, Mr. Chair, but I understand the technical gaps, the challenges of the Secretariat. Nonetheless, I wish to manifest that we be ready with our templates so that if there are commitments expressed by the resource speakers, we have it signed right away, especially when the resource speaker is duly accompanied and assisted by her own lawyer, Mr. Chair. Yes, we take note of the manifestation of Congresswoman Luistro and uh, uh, may I direct the ComSec to please uh, uh, follow the suggestion of uh, Congresswoman Luistro as far as the template for uh, whatever commitment, whatever statement to be made by the witness before a committee hearing of the Quadcom. And Mr. Chairman, 
um, if ever that uh, she will not um, take her oath on that um, uh, sign uh, waiver uh, before a notary public, uh, I will move to uh, to cite uh, Miss Cassandra Ong in contempt and uh, assign her in a uh, in the uh, Mandaluyong uh, correctional. At the appropriate matter, time, Chairman. Congressman Fernandez, yes, at the appropriate uh, time, Mr. Chair. we will uh, decide on that after we exhaust all possible way to get information from from uh, Ms. Cassandra Leong. And if she does not cooperate and we feel that uh, she has committed a contemptible act, then the committee will, if they so desire, will uh, cite her for contempt.